High-energy montage of rural and urban Africa. Congested traffic, gas pumps, and then... Maxwell's futuristic bus gliding silently through villages. Imagine a bus that never needs fuel, never needs charging, and costs less than a second-hand sedan. In a world gasping for affordable, clean transport, one man from Zimbabwe just rewrote the rules. This is the story of Maxwell Chikambutso's $5,000 self-powered bus. And today, we take the first ride. The invention unveiled. Maxwell standing beside the bus, media flashbulbs popping. Unveiled in Harare just weeks ago, the sleek 24-seater doesn't rely on gas, batteries, or charging stations. Instead, it harnesses proprietary greener power self-generation system, silently producing the energy it needs as it drives. No tailpipe, no emissions, just clean, continuous motion. Engineers across the globe say it was impossible until now. Tech breakdown. Inside, the system uses an advanced electromagnetic drive, developed over two decades of secret R&D. At its core is a microenergy reactor that converts ambient frequencies into mechanical thrust. No grid, no wires. The result? Unlimited range, zero fuel dependency, and operating costs nearly 90% lower than diesel buses. The first ride. We boarded the bus for its first official test route. A 50-kilometer journey through urban traffic, village roads, and steep inclines. The ride? Smooth, silent. With no gear shifts, no vibrations, just a quiet hum and curious glances from onlookers. Local transport officials watched in disbelief. Mechanics inspected it. Still, no exhaust pipe, no engine heat, no refueling port. Economic shockwave. At $5,000 per unit, this bus could undercut traditional minibuses, taxis, and even motorcycles. For many African cities where transport eats up over 30% of household income, this isn't just innovation, it's liberation. Thousands of independent drivers could own their own fleet, maintenance-free, profit-heavy, and emission-free. Global attention. The global media is catching on. Tech giants are watching. Some are even reaching out. But Chikambutso insists, this bus is for Africa first. Built here, scaled here, empowering millions here. What's next? Plans are already underway to build larger buses, freight trucks, and even cross-country coaches based on the same self-power platform. And with assembly facilities planned in Ghana, Kenya, and South Africa, this isn't a one-off. It's a continent-wide revolution. The skeptics and the science. But not everyone is cheering. Scientists and skeptics across the world have questioned the bus's self-powering claims. Perpetual motion? Impossible, they say. Yet every test every kilometer driven, points to something revolutionary. Independent engineers from Germany, South Africa, and India have been invited to verify the core technology. Early leaks suggest they're stunned. The bus doesn't consume conventional energy at all. It creates and cycles it. Voices from the ground. But perhaps the most powerful proof isn't found in laboratories. It's in the voices of ordinary people. Mothers who now afford to send their kids to school. Drivers who no longer spend half their earnings on fuel. Children watching the future roll past their dusty streets. I thought I'd never see this in my lifetime, says Mama Tari, a 78-year-old grandmother from Zambia. If this is real, Africa will never be the same again, says a skeptical mechanic, now registering to train on Chikambutso Tech. Continental expansion begins. Orders are already flooding in from across the continent. Nairobi wants 200 units for public transit. Ghana is funding local assembly. Egypt's transport ministry is closely monitoring development for strategic collaboration. Maxwell's team has confirmed a new mega factory is under construction in Lusaka, with the capacity to produce 10,000 buses annually by 2026. Maxwell's vision. Maxwell Chikambutso isn't just building vehicles. He's building a vision, one where innovation is homegrown, inclusive, and Africa-led. This bus is just the beginning, he says. If a village boy like me can defy the odds, then so can every young African mind. Let's stop importing the future. Let's start building it. And just as the world begins to digest the self-power bus, Maxwell is quietly testing something bigger, heavier, and even more ambitious. A full-size self-powered electric truck 
capable of hauling cross-continental cargo without fuel, without emissions, the truck that could move Africa. Nicknamed the Rhino, Maxwell's upcoming self-powered electric freight truck is designed to haul over 20 tons across long African routes, with no diesel, no recharge stations, and no battery swaps. Insiders whisper that the vehicle uses a multi-core greener power unit GPU, a more powerful evolution of the tech inside the $5,000 bus, combined with superconductor magnetic torque array. In plain terms, this truck creates its own energy as it moves. Logistics giants take notice. Africa's logistics industry, with over $160 billion, is notoriously held back by fuel shortages and poor infrastructure. So when word leaked to the Rhino's zero fuel capability, major transport firms started knocking. One logistics CEO told us off camera, if Maxwell pulls this off, Tesla trucks will look like a warm-up act. Rising tensions and international attention. But with attention comes tension. Global automotive giants, particularly in the West, are reportedly lobbying for technology verification before Maxwell's trucks can enter foreign markets. A report from Geneva even suggests that certain interests are trying to freeze international adoption of self-powered vehicles until new laws are created, sparking debates about innovation fairness, patents, and Africa's sovereignty in tech, the youth movement. But while the powerful hesitate, the young rise. Across campuses in Nigeria, Kenya, South Africa, and Senegal, students are building open-source models based on Maxwell's designs. A new wave of Afro-innovation is rising, blending engineering, climate action, and social justice. We're not waiting for Silicon Valley anymore, says Adama, a 23-year-old robotic student in Dakar. We've got Harare, Lusaka, and Nairobi. What's next for Maxwell? Maxwell's vision now stretches beyond just land. His team is rumored to be developing Africa's first self-powered drone capable of long-range agricultural mapping and emergency deliveries. One thing is clear, this is no longer just about vehicles. It's about building an ecosystem where Africa drives its destiny with energy independence, innovation, and unstoppable ambition. Road production. Maxwell's team isn't wasting time. In a bold move, he's converting an old textile factory on the outskirts of Bulawayo, Zimbabwe, into a full-scale EV manufacturing hub. The goal? Produce the first 100 self-powered trucks by next year. Backed by a coalition of Pan-African investors and green infrastructure funds, the plant will also train 1,500 young engineers from across the continent, turning the site into a living innovation lab. Sabotage or setback. But the journey hasn't been without turbulence. In March, the test facility suffered a sudden blackout, followed by a mysterious fire that delayed production by weeks. An internal memo leaked shortly after warned of foreign interference aimed at derailing development was an accident or something deeper. While no one is officially pointing fingers, security around the facility has since tripled. Voices from the street. Yet, despite delays and doubt, hope is contagious. A taxi driver in Lusaka says, If Maxwell's bus saves me fuel, I'll drive it day and night. A cocoa farmer near a cry adds, if that truck can bring my goods to market without diesel, that's the dream. Across borders, everyday Africans are connecting Maxwell's innovation to their daily survival. The United Nations response. In Geneva, the UN's Energy Council recently tabled a proposal to create a global standard for self-power technology, citing Maxwell's success as a turning point for off-grid innovation. A delegate from Norway even suggested a Maxwell Clause in future clean tech agreements, ensuring that technologies invented in the global south receive global protections and platforms. A continent awakens. From Cairo to Cape Town, the message is clear. Africa isn't waiting to catch up. It's breaking ahead. Maxwell's self-powered bus may have been the spark, but a fire is spreading. With every kilometer driven, every battery bypassed, and every generator silenced, a new continent is being built. One not powered by fossil fuels, but by faith in its own genius. The Maxwell School of Innovation. To truly sustain the movement, Maxwell did something few inventors ever do. He opened his playbook. Partnering with African universities and technical colleges, he launched the Maxwell School of Innovation in Harare. Here... 
Students don't just study clean energy. They build it every semester. Cohorts design their own transport prototypes using principles behind his self-powered systems. And the results? Stunning. A team from Ethiopia created a drone that runs entirely on ambient radio waves. A girl in Senegal rigged her bicycle with regenerative braking that charges her family's lights. The Maxwell Challenge. Inspired by this spirit, Maxwell launched the Maxwell Challenge, a continent-wide contest calling young inventors to submit energy-free tech solutions for transport, farming, or daily life. Over 60,000 entries poured in, from solar cookers with AI temperature control to floating water pumps powered by river flow alone. It wasn't just innovation, it was a renaissance. Corporate pushback. But such a revolution doesn't go unnoticed. Several global auto giants filed legal challenges, claiming patent infringement, while oil lobbies in Washington labeled Maxwell's system a geoeconomic threat. One leaked memo from a major energy conglomerate even read, We underestimated the Maxwell risk. Despite mounting pressure, Maxwell remains unfazed. In a viral clip, he simply said, Africa has given the world diamonds, gold, and labor. Now we give it our mind. An unexpected alliance. And then, something no one saw coming. Elon Musk invited Maxwell to SpaceX headquarters for a private summit. What they discussed remains confidential, but sources hint at a joint project on energy autonomous vehicles for Martian colonization. If true... It would mean the very tech born on dusty roads of Zimbabwe could one day power travel between planets. Global acceleration. Today, Maxwell's $5,000 self-powered bus isn't just running in Africa. It's been approved for pilot programs in parts of Southeast Asia, Latin America, and even Eastern Europe. Investors are calling it the most important mobility innovation since the internal combustion engine. Critics who once laughed are now licensing. The United Nations, New York. In an unprecedented moment, Maxwell Chikambutso became the first African inventor invited to address the UN General Assembly for contributions in sustainable transportation. Standing before world leaders, he didn't speak of victory. He spoke of responsibility. What began as a dream in Zimbabwe, he said, must now become a shared mission for humanity. His message was clear. Energy shouldn't be a privilege, but a birthright. And innovation should no longer flow one way, from west to east, north to south, but in every direction. Pan-Africa 2030. High-speed electric trains glide across the Sahara. Children board school buses powered by the sun. Cities glow at night without a single coal plant in sight. From Harare to Cairo, Lagos to Nairobi and beyond, Africa has become a living blueprint for the post-carbon world. The $5,000 self-powered bus didn't just change transportation. It changed perception. It changed economics. It changed the future.